And do you want to talk about little Kim? Yeah. And that face of hers? <laughs> okay. Little Kim has been making headlines because of her dramatic new look. Um, it's not necessarily a new look. It's been over the course of maybe the last decade. She's just been getting stuff that looks like done, done, filled, filled, filled. It's filled so tight now, Kim, it looks like a pin would just pop you. <laughs> um, anyway, Kim is claiming that the blogs have been altering her pictures and trying to sabotage her images for ye or her image for years. Now, let me just say, I agree with Kim on this particular one. And then I'll dial it back and tell you what I really think. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the picture that, um, okay, for, this is the picture that she says was photo. See, take the pin and pop her. She'll fly right back to Jersey. <laughs> Look at me. This is the picture of little Kim that she says was doctored. Oh, because her fans are saying, oh, you're lightening your skin, you're filling your face, too much uh, plastic surgery. I must tell you, the same evening, and take note to the leather around her decollete, the furry stuff, and the necklace. This is another picture from the same evening where she doesn't look, uh, see? See? That's a big chin piece. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, all right, so let's do the up and down comparison, and I'm gonna break it down, because I'm on little Kim's side. You know how after you've had a, like a nice big meal, and you go in for that hearty belch? And, <laughs> click. Saying, like they might have caught her in, in mid expression. We've all been there before. This certainly does not look like the same person down here. And as far as the lighting, the lighting clearly is different in both places. So I don't think that these picture, this picture right here was photoshopped. I think they caught her, you know, in mid something or another. <laughs> but let's just take it back to um, the essence, uh, little Kim in 1999. Kim, in my mind, I know your goal was always to look like LaToya Jackson. You've out latoya LaToya in your new look. I just, and, and don't blame Photoshopping. Blame your plastic surgeon, girl. Oh, no, you did First off, let it be known, I'm not a little Kim fan. Never been a little Kim fan. No, I am not. So I don't even want it to come across that this nigga's taken up for Little Kim. This was sent to me by my man Larry Holmes on face, um, yeah, Facebook. And he said, even though Wendy Williams got a point, she the last motherfucker need to be talking. So I watched this stupid ass video. And what did I see? The same thing Mr. Larry Holmes saw. First off, how dare this bitch want to talk about what somebody look like when she up there looking like she need to be helping Kobe Bryant and motherfucking Dwight Howard on the front line get to the playoffs. Big manly looking motherfucker. Y'all need to start calling her Dexter. She so damn manly. Walking around six foot nine hands look like she could slap a motherfucker back to the future. Start calling this bitch Doc Brown. Shit me. Hands could go 88 miles per hour. <laughs> then you want to turn around and talk about somebody chin. Come on now. Who chin bigger than yours, bitch? You up there walking around the fucking stage on, on, on the damn TV looking like Mac tonight. You know who the fuck Mac tonight is. Don't act like you don't know who that motherfucker is. Didn't you want to talk about some somebody looking fake? You got two big ass midgets up in your damn shirt Sponsored by Dr. Goldstein Somewhere in Miami, Florida Look like somebody done put your face in some fucking silly putty You up there And talking like your motherfucking RuPaul's sister-in-law Look just like RuPaul This big old bitch look like a nigga in drag Anybody say they wanna fuck Wendy Williams is suspect Old uh, Belicio Del Toro ass Usually suspect niggas You running around looking like Damn, I, I, I don't know how to explain how this bitch got this dead ass squirrel on her motherfucking head every damn show. She got some auburn blonde dead squirrel on her fucking head, smacking like she got a mouth full of bubblicious. Sounds just like any gay man. That's the funny part about most black women. They could be imitated by any man in drag. 
That's why these motherfuckers are you. That's why they be hollering. You live in Atlanta. It's hard to tell if it's a man or a woman. Notice white men don't have that problem. Seriously, you notice you don't hear white men saying, hey, nowadays you don't know who's a man or a woman. Do you keep hearing black men say that crap? Because the women look like men. This bitch talking about she got two kids. Somebody said the motherfucker got two kids. She adopted the motherfucker. Oh, big hand having ass motherfucker standing up there palming a ball. She looked like a nigga I went to high school with. Looked like the nigga that used to play power forward. I think that's Terrell Bell. Anyway, she sitting up there with this long ass weave on. Want to talk about somebody else looking fake. Who look faker than you? Seriously, who, Wendy Williams? You need to have motherfucking Alexander O'Neill do every one of your damn intro songs. And I ain't talking about an all true man. You need a man. Look at your face. You sitting there shit, that bitch is fake. Everything about this bitch is just a, a bad deal. But she get on TV and want to talk about somebody else. Want to talk about little Cam's face? No, bitch, we want to talk about your face. Want to talk about them big ass feet you got. Looking like you could outkick motherfucking uh, Pele in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a motherfucking soccer battle. Your big ass feet up there. And I don't even understand who, who the fuck is your outfitter. Men's Warehouse? That bitch is huge. Last name need to be Douglas. She huge. Anyway, you sit there and you just talk about people. And this goes to show you the, the, the depravity of black women. They'll talk about you and they in the same damn boat. You ever had a motherfucker? Y'all black women know this. I get a lot of black women that tell me this is the truth. You got a girlfriend. You tell her, ah, something nigga dick from the club. You nasty. This bitch got four damn kids by five niggas. Who is nasty to this bitch? But she sure know how to talk about you. That's damn Wendy Williams. How dare you talk about somebody's face? You should talk about anything else than somebody's face. Looking like somebody done mailed at your motherfucking face in a smelting machine. Motherfucker way everybody else said. And then had the nerve to talk about Lil' Kim and said She don't look She don't look black anymore or she look Asian What the fuck do you Look like bitch with that big ass Hat hat that dead ass David Crockett squirrel on the top of your head Davy Davy Crockett All y'all black women running around Looking like Euro blacks fucking negro Peans but you want to talk about somebody Else how dare you Talk about facial surgeries when you Look you done had every surgery possible. Got that motherfucking Adam's apple shaved off. You ain't got nothing to say about that motherfucker. I remember when you used to score 23 points and have 15 rebounds a game, nigga. I know you, Wendell. That fucking Wendy Williams is Wendell. Wendell Williams. I'm trying to fool a nigga. Anyway, she got something to say about little Kim. And you got to ask yourself, why does she feel so confident and comfortable talking about a motherfucker like that on live TV about what she looked like after surgery when you got them two big ass sweater puppies in your damn shirt? You think that shit look natural? Is that okay? Big ass titties looking like this Looking like they fighting to get the fuck out I bet as soon as you go to the dressing room Them big son of a bitches go <sighs> Wait a minute they fake so they go like this <sighs> They don't fall no damn well Big monster ass titties Looking like Bigfoot and the muscle machine They big, bad, dirty and mean Oh, be honest. And, and then why would you talk about somebody like this? Seriously, y'all want to talk about black woman sisterhood She don't talk about white bitches Like she'll talk about a black bitch Black bitch get on TV, she'll say all kind of crap for her Where don't y'all say something about that? Why don't y'all black women jump up and say Hey, she's a black woman She shouldn't talk about other black women like that Didn't have the nerve to put up that picture of Look Him in 1998 Talking about some Look Him look better back then And the dumbass crowd want to clap That bitch look like a Dorito in the face She looked ugly back then Sitting up there looking like Madam Y'all know the fuck Madam is Both of them look like Madam Matter of fact, most of the black women today look like Madam These weird ass cheeks Then you want to put the rosy shit on there Knowing you couldn't blush if a nigga punched you 98 times You couldn't blush if you got into a motherfucking car fight with Chris Brown and Chad Johnson I'm just saying But no, they want to walk around again looking like Euro Blacks She looked better in 1999 Little Kim ain't never been pretty That's why they call her Little Kim, not Pretty Kim she got all them surgeries because she wasn't cute. She looked normal, but she wasn't cute. She never was. But Wendy Williams, you used to play ball. Motherfucker, you was hell in the paint. I remember when Wendy Williams used to sit. Oh, excuse me, call you by your surname. Wendell Williams. I remember when Wendell used to sit there and back a nigga down. Bam! Straight dunk on a nigga. Now he's a fucking daytime talk show host? Shit me. Come on, Wendell. 
Why you won't talk about people like that, Mr. Wendell? <laughs> Mr. Wendell. Talking about some, let's talk about her face. Like your face is behind closed doors. Your face is on front street. Hard ass features. When you got motherfuckers guessing your sex, bitch. You ain't that damn pretty to be talking about another bitch looking like she ain't that damn pretty. When motherfuckers is looking at your damn hair hats and got a damn 32 out rifle trained on that bitch hoping it don't move. You got Obama security up at your motherfucking studio waiting to see if your hair move. If it moves an inch, shoot it. I cannot stand a black bitch with a hair hat on all day and it never looks like her natural hair, you nasty bitch. That is insulting that you would talk about this ugly bitch. Well, both y'all ugly and your bitch is running around looking like a man. Shut up, Dexter, you manly looking ass. Fucking ex-Washington red skin. This is ridiculous. And again, it took a woman to talk about another woman before I said something. Now let's see if you black women go and attack this woman. Because all she do is talk about other black women, talk crap about other black women. All he do is sit down and talk about motherfuckers because he, he didn't go to the NBA. It's all right, Wendell, your damn knee got hurt. You tore your ACL and shit. You ain't got to put on no hair hat looking like David Crockett and talk about other motherfuckers, do you? Really? If you're going to talk about somebody, talk about somebody that don't suffer from the same shit that you do. That, to me, is the problem with black women. In all seriousness, black women typically talk about other people who suffer from the same shit that they do. That's the scary part about it. You got some nerve, Wendy Williams. And P.S. It ain't a motherfucker in the world that don't think she sound like a drag queen every time she gets on stage and go, How you doing? Looking like a motherfucker. Oh, looking like the motherfucking Sasquatch. I don't understand her plan at all, man. To get on here and disrespect that ugly bitch, little Kim, like that. There's no reason to disrespect that ugly bitch like that. That ugly bitch didn't deserve you talking about her like this, Wendy. Wendell.